We don't. No! <laughs> who drinks wine at 10 a.m.? Alcoholics, that's who. Hey you going? I'm filming! Can you wait until I get in the shower, please? So you don't have coffee? Great. I'm coming! Hi! Oh! oh! I'm gonna get copyrighted! <laughs> oh my god, I wanna kill her, dude. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, I have to make this intro really fast because I'm calling her to stop. I'm calling her so that her music doesn't play, but I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm gonna redo my box braids today. And they're gonna be in the color 1B30. And I'm using fresh, well, I'm sorry, no, this is, yeah. I don't know, that one. All you need is a edge brush, a tail comb, I use the Eco Styling Gel, and then I also use um, Edge Effect Edge Control. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, highly request on how I do my rock sprays. Keep in mind, I am no professional. In fact, they look crazy most of the time, but enjoy. Okay, so now that all of the old hair is out in my rose out to shine. I'm going to wash it. I use Aussie's um, Miracle Shampoo and then for conditioner I use the Aussie Miracle Moist Conditioner and I wash it twice and I obviously condition it once. After the conditioner I put in this Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Restore Treatment. It works for me and I'm pretty convinced I have 4C hair. So I'm out of the shower. I have in the Shea Moisture mask right now in my hair. Bye, bro. See you guys when the 15 minutes is over. Cookie can make me the goat. Cookie can come with the throat. Puff, puff, pass. Oh, you do not want the smoke. Just be sleeping on me, but be claiming they woke. Think a check on my body. Then let them lick on my body. I stick in the body. But they could do the dabby. Wait. Hold on. Those are not the words. I say hey Nikki who new body who this. Oh quiet. I'm going to wash out the Shea Moisture and then I will show you guys what I'm going to put in this. This is my hair with zero product in it um, at all. It's just about to be blow dried. But these are the products that I'm gonna use before I blow dry my hair. So I've been using the Cantu leave-in conditioner. And I'm gonna use organic extra virgin uh, coconut oil infused with vitamin E. This is the last thing I used. And it's just the um, Cantu moisturizing curl activator cream. She started growling and I'm home by myself. So it is blow dried, it is done. I like to blow dry it before I box braid because it's like pre-stretched and it just feels nice. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put in the stimulating hair oil by Drew Goo. And then I put it in again after my braids are done. I like how this smells a lot. My hair has grown so much since my initial big chop, like my real big chop, and I'm like so happy with it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna part my hair um, into sections. So I'm just gonna use a pack of 300 rubber bands, a rat tail comb. So when it's all parted, I'll show you guys what that looks like. So, if you can tell, these are like my parts. So I take a little bit of the Eco Styling Gel and I apply it to my part and I just apply that to all sides there. And for anyone who's wondering, I don't know how to do my edges. And then after I apply that Eco Styling Gel, I take my edge control and I put this on top of the Eco Styling and this kind of makes it stick a little bit more, which is nice. Like I said, I'm no professional. It just works for me. It holds in the braids and it makes it easy for me to take them out. And then I take 
the rubber band and then just put it around the section doll piece. And I don't put it too close to my actual head because instead of using a crochet tool, I just use my fingers. I just grab the hair like this and I twist it and then I stick my fingers through the hair and then I pull this through, even it out a little bit and then I tighten it by pulling my hair and then I do it just like that, evenly distribute it to where it could be made into a braid. Okay, so I take the piece closest to the right side of my body and I put that over everything and then I just start to braid and I just bring it down. I don't really do the tuck method. I just kind of hold it tight enough to where um, it just naturally tucks. And see, like even when I put away my edges, they're so short that like I am gonna be forced to do them anyway. And I just continue to braid like so. Maybe I should use the tuck method. Do you see this right here? Gotta undo it. And then when I'm done braiding, I just um, burn the edges with a lighter. Okay, so again, take the eco styling gel. Make sure you get all the sides and then the edge control in the exact same place. Burr band, not too close to your scalp. Grab the hair, spin it so you can fit it in between the gap, and then just enter your finger, pull it through. Tighten it, and then just start to braid. Alright guys, so it is the next day. This is the end result of my box braids. I'm <laughs> I am obsessed with them. Do you like them? Mm-hmm. Thanks. But yeah, that is that is it. That is how I do it. I do a really simple method. I think it's super, super easy. It took a really long time, but this is the end. When I was done, I did boil them in a pot of hot water to get them, you know, as flimsy as they are. And that's pretty much it. I literally learned how to braid um, over quarantine because obviously I couldn't go to my lady because, you know, safe from COVID. Fellas, this is the result. So yeah, this is what I did in my spare time when my boyfriend didn't want to hang out with me and wanted to play 2K. Well, no, I just, there's hairs all over my water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> so that is it for today's video i hope to see you guys in the next this has been a highly requested video people always ask me if i do my own braids and how i do them so i thought i would finally film it jay is there anything that you would like to say she sheds a lot it's the first day because i did them boho style so yeah the first day these are like shedding like unbearable but they smell oh, amazing yeah. all right I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>